Hey everybody, today I'll be interviewing Cleo, who is a program manager at Microsoft, and she will be sharing with us her journey to having a career in technology and what she does in the day. Okay, so hi everyone, my name is Cleo. Um, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia. So I currently work as a program manager at Microsoft in Redmond, Washington, um, and I study computer science at the University of British Columbia. Cool. Um, so I guess the first question I wanted to ask you is, what are some of the things that you did in school? How did you start thinking about becoming a program manager? Did you have any internships that kind of led to that path? Or how did that kind of happen? Yeah, for sure. So I think my path to program management actually was, it was very exploratory. So when I started college at UBC, I actually started in the Bachelor of Media Studies. And it was partly because I still wasn't sure at that point what exactly I wanted to pursue with a long-term career. And what drew me to that uh, background was because it was a very interdisciplinary program. I got to study a variety of things from journalism to digital media to visual arts and kind of everything in between. And one of the courses that was required as part of that was intro to programming. And when I first heard of that, I was actually quite terrified because I had no prior coding experience and really had never considered that to be something that would be fit for me. Um, but I took the course and surprisingly fell in love with it. Um, I just completely was fascinated by the idea of problem solving and kind of taking a technical problem and being able to build something from scratch. And so from that point on, I knew that tech was a field that I was going to be really interested in. So eventually I switched majors into computer science and after that point, I did a couple of internships as a software engineer. So I did one internship at a company in Vancouver called Vizier, where I built data visualizations for their uh, people technology solutions. And then following that, I did an internship in Toronto at the Royal Bank of Canada, where I was on a four student team to essentially use the entire summer to innovate a solution to, uh, to address some sort of problem that was occurring in the bank at the time. Um, so Based on that, so my experience as a software engineer made me really, um, it really solidified my kind of interest in working in tech. So I knew that for a fact. Um, but as I got more experience, I started to learn that there were other kinds of roles in technology that, you know, also played a very crucial role in the software development life cycle. Yeah. So some of those things were like UX design or product management. And so product management really um, spoke out to me because uh, to me it seemed like it was a role where it was very again interdisciplinary where not only are you working on building technology but you also get to exercise like your communication skills and um, principles of UX design and kind of combining all these roles into one so that really fascinated me so um, when I was applying for roles after graduation I ended up applying for mostly software engineering roles because I was still more set on doing that but I also applied for product management roles as well and so um it worked out with microsoft and so that's kind of what brought me to where i'm today but yeah nice okay so when you were doing all the software engineering internships did you find that you wanted to go into program management and um you felt like you would enjoy that better or how did you make the switch from software engineering to program management yeah that's a great question um when I was working as a software engineer, I, I really enjoyed what I was doing. Um, again, I really liked problem solving and like taking something and being able to really build it from scratch. Um, I just find there's such a thrill in that. So I always really liked being a software engineer. Um, but I think one thing that I felt that I was lacking was partly, I guess, the communication aspect. I think sometimes, you know, as the stereotypical role of a software engineer is you're kind of sitting in front of a computer coding a lot. And sometimes that is very true. And so I felt like I would benefit from a role where I could be more, you know, communicating closely with teams. Um, and then additionally, having more say on the why behind a product is being built. Because I think um, a key role of a product manager is to define the reason you're actually building something to begin with. And so that comes with the bigger picture and understanding business need and, you know, the, com the customers that you're impacting. And so I felt like I wasn't quite getting that view as a software engineer. So I felt like a product management role would help me kind of really own that bigger picture. And that's something that I found really fascinating. So um, as I was 
focused on my software engineering internships, I started to just research and learn more about what the product management role was like. And I found that it aligned well with my interests. So I decided to apply for those jobs for after graduation. Okay, awesome. And the next thing I wanted to ask you is what does a day in the life look like as a program manager? Would it be sort of similar to how you say a software engineer works uh, sitting at a desk all day or does it involve a lot of other tasks? Does a day to day look kind of similar or is it different all the time? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I guess for one disclaimer, so I refer to product management a lot. Um, so because the product management role um, is very similar to what is called program manager at Microsoft. It's just they have their own kind of unique way of naming it. So I'll refer to product management, but um, that also is my role as a program manager at Microsoft. So just to avoid any confusion. Um, but yeah, so I would say the typical day of a product or program manager is it varies a lot um, on the day. So I would say there are no two days really that are quite alike. Um, and that really depends on the kind of product or program you're working on, the stage of the project, um, and there's a variety of factors that can affect that. So, for example, um, if you are working on a like technology product, you will most likely be very involved in the um, kind of agile management. So you'll be closely working with engineering and participating in sprint rituals such as daily standups um sprint planning sprint grooming things like that so mm -hmm. that can take up a big part of your day but in addition to that another key part of your day can be stakeholder management so that's a lot of meetings with customers with business with other teams um that will typically take up a large portion of your day and yes. pms are kind of known to have back-to-back -back meetings <laughs> in all their days um but on top of that you might also have time for just kind of head down time for doing your own deliverables so that could just be answering emails responding to messages but also creating documentation so you might be creating like process diagrams or sequence diagrams or powerpoints or whatever it may be um but that can also be a part of your day so i think the there's a lot of different things you can be working on but the kind of the percentage of your day that gets allocated to those different tasks i think varies depending on the stage of the project and what kind of project you're working on that makes sense so what are some of the important skills that would be necessary for a program manager to be really good at what they do? Yeah, that's a great question. And I think, again, the program management role varies so much depending on the product and the team. So different skills come into play depending on that, what that might be. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, I would say if you are working, if you are a product or program manager working in technology, it does really help to have a strong technical background because ultimately it's good to be able to understand the inner workings of what you're building. So um, I think having uh, a computer science background or you know, especially experience in software engineering is great because you really understand the agile process and how, what it means to code something um, really from, a, from your own standpoint. So I think that is really helpful. And it also helps you empathize, em, empathize with your um, engineering team because you understand their point of view and you can really speak the same language as them. So I think that having that background is tremendously helpful. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, I think it's also very important to have a strong sense of empathy for the user. So learning any kind of UX principles, I think can be very helpful because um, when you're defining the why or the vision behind your product, it's really important to understand what the impact is for the customer and the end user. And for that, it's really crucial to have a strong sense of understanding of what the customer wants, what their pain points might be, um, and how you can help them. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, again, because PM is so interdisciplinary, I think there's so many ways you can, so many different kinds of skills that can help. But in addition to that, I think communication skills in general are very important because you are, um, you're managing communication between so many different teams. Um, in addition, you are often articulating something about a solution to, people with varying levels of technical expertise. So you might be working closely with engineering where you can go really into the details about a technical solution. But when you're communicating that same solution to your business stakeholders, you might not want to go into that same level of detail. And so you kind of develop this craft for being able to articulate a message um, and tailoring it for the audience that you're speaking to. And so I think that's very important as well. Right, for sure.
What are some of the challenges that you face as a program manager? Like you mentioned, there's a lot of things that you have to cover. Is it challenging to manage a lot of people on your team? Or like, what are some of the things that are sort of difficult during your job? Yeah, so I think some challenges that uh, you may experience as a product manager is that because you're in a role where you wear many hats, um, it really means that you are often expected to be the glue between so many different cross-functional teams, whether that be engineering, business, customers, other stakeholders. And so it can be very challenging at times, especially in a large organization, to drive clarity um, on a solution that is already complex on its own, but additionally across many different people who all have different levels of understanding of technology or how the solution works. So that can be very challenging. Um, and additionally, because as a PM, you are kind of, you're considered the owner of a problem or a, um, or a piece of technology or a product. And so as part of that, you really are kind of, you're, you're looked up to as the person who is responsible for any kind of problems or anything that might come your way relating to that product. And so in that sense, that can be quite challenging at times. But I think something that I've learned is that even though being a PM can sometimes feel like a very kind of, I wouldn't say a lonely role in the sense where like you are that one person that's expected to field everything, you really are working as part of a team. And so I've had many times where I have felt really challenged in trying to bring people together and, you know, make a really challenging problem just work. But I've really leaned on my teams a lot to help me with that. And whether that be my engineering teams or my own uh, team of product managers or business, I think you really learn that the only way to get anything done in software development is really to lean on each other. And so, yeah, I think um, while, the, while there are challenges, um, nothing that can't be solved. Right. <laughs> so do you see any good opportunities for people entering program managers as students or new graduates? Do you think that they should first have uh, software engineering experience first or get a program management internship before they can become a program manager? How does one usually go into program management? Is it usually like what you said, first doing a software engineering internship and then going into it or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think there's no one single way to do it. So mm -hmm. as I mentioned, like I went down the path of I did software engineering first and then I went yeah. into pro program management. Um, and I've seen people who have done program or product management internships in college. Um, and there are some people who actually work as a software engineer for a few years, even after graduating from college and then transition into product management. So there's really no single way to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think something that I've realized is it's, while it is really important to, you know, really develop your technical skills, um, to have that understanding as a PM. I think if you know that you are interested in product management, then I think it is useful to get into the field earlier on. So um, if you know you're interested in it and you're applying for an internship, I would absolutely recommend applying for a product management internship, um, especially if you are studying something technical like computer science already, then I think you can supplement that really well with your studies. Mm -hmm. So um i know there are many companies that do offer product management roles um as internships so i would definitely recommend pursuing that i know that junior pm roles can be a little hard to come by sometimes um because they're not always offered at a junior level but again there are many companies who do like rotational product management um positions or associate product management positions so they do require a little more digging than i would say software engineering roles but um, they definitely are out there cool and the last question that I have for you is for a student or somebody looking to get into program management, are there any additional resources or advice that you can give them? Um, anything that they should take a look at? Yeah. Um, so when I was studying for product management interviews, one book I read religiously was the Cracking the PM, uh, Cracking the PM interview book. So um, if you're a software engineer, you're probably familiar with the cracking this coding interview book. So it's written by the same people, oh, really? kind of the PM counterpart. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, so that one, of course, they walk through how to interview for the position, but they also have a great overview of what the role is and how it looks like at different, like one of the, at many of the bigger companies. So that was really helpful for me to really understand the context of the role. Um, in addition to that, I would recommend just 
uh, finding resources. Like I've used LinkedIn Learning. Um, they have a lot of great courses on product management. I'm sure other learning websites like Coursera, um, I'm trying to think of other ones, EDX, I guess, they might also have great resources for that. Um, in addition, I would recommend joining groups for product managers. So I've been a part of Slack groups or Facebook groups that um, are for product managers. And some of them are specifically for like by location, like some are just in DC, some are for juniors. So I think that's a great way to uh, meet other PMs and network with them. Okay, nice. And then in terms of other skills that they should learn, I know that you covered some of the important things like knowing a little bit about software engineering, knowing a little bit about user experience. Are there any soft skills that you think would be really important? Um, how much uh, kind of communication work do you have to do? Is it usually presenting to people who, who don't have technical knowledge? So do you have to uh, communicate with people on both sides, I guess? Yeah, communication skills definitely come into it. Um, I've had to prepare like many PowerPoint presentations and present to people of all levels of the business and engineering. So yeah, I think it's a really important skill to be able to take a technical problem and uh, articulate it in a way that different audiences can understand. Um, I'm trying to think of any resources that would help with that, but I found like you can practice those kinds of skills even in school. So like, you know, if we're, if you have a software engineering project and you're doing a demo to your TA, or if you have a hackathon and you're doing a demo there, those are all great opportunities to, again, take some technical problem you're building and be able to present it in a way that anyone can understand. Um, yeah, I certainly think you don't have to wait for a product management role to be able to exercise those kinds of skills. And even like, I think if you are currently in a role that in the software engineering realm, but not necessarily product manager, you can definitely take opportunities to incorporate PM principles into your role. So if you are, I'll use software engineering a lot because it's kind of my background, but if you are a software engineer, um, I think, you know, if you want to take it a step further and learn about PM, you can, in, you can of course, you know, focus on coding and what you're building, but additionally, you could seek opportunities to take a step further and understand the bigger picture and the business impact of what you're building and really feed into the why behind that product that you're working on. So I think there are ways that you can start to seek out those opportunities if you're not, even if you're not currently in that role. And you can also potentially open up opportunities to transition into PM in your current company as well. So I think there are many ways to do it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I learned a lot about program management and what you do. I think this will be really helpful to a lot of other people too. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you for having me. This was really fun.